All right, let's talk a little bit about these SX10, the 10 millimeter thick care cart shoes, front and hind patterns. I did some modifications today, and I just would like to explain the benefit of the, not only the, the width of these shoes, but the thickness of these shoes that allow me to do most of these modifications. And the thickness helps keep these horses up out of the surface a little bit. The easiest modification you can make to a hind foot that is plugging up with dirt or debris and not cleaning out, when a horse is moving laterally or forward, if there's a snowball of material there, it doesn't allow the horse to move properly and get the right amount of purchase with the ground. It's just a simple hammering there uh, or a grind. I just I did this with a hammer, but I ground it just to show the benefit of this being able to clean, self-clean. You can do this to front or hind, but this is a hind pattern. The other one is a simple trailer, slightly kicked out to the outside, but it, it does add a little bit of length to the shoe. Simple trailer. Same shoe with lateral extensions. The reason why I call this a lateral extension is because the shoe, we line it up there, isn't lined isn't projecting as far as a trailer this it was material moved to the outside and packed back in instead of stretching it out like that lay it on like this you can really see what I'm talking about here so this is the double but it's still the same length as the shoe right out of the box this is the medial side of the lateral or medial extension. This is the lateral extension, which is not as far as a trailer. And that's the idea. You don't want the lateral extension. The lateral and medial extension should project laterally or medially, not posteriorly out the back. So that's the hind shoe with trailers and extensions. Let's get into the front shoes a little bit. I did two different modifications on the toe here, the rocker toe and the rolled toe. The rocker toe where you just bend down, it doesn't change that shape. You still have the shoe out of the box, almost exactly the same, but look at the benefit of the toe. That rocker toe can mean night and day on the horse's movement forward. And it's rockered so the entire thickness of that material is rockered up and it will last. When you roll a toe and you don't take into consideration that you're hammering the outside of the shoe and you're actually stretching it out, when you work the outside of the shoe, it brings your branches in. So you've narrowed this shoe up quite a bit. And you've also brought that toe forward a little bit. So this needs to be taken into consideration in your shape before you start. If I'm going to do this consistently on a foot that's this wide, like this, then I want to spread that shoe out, put it over the horn and spread it out before I start hammering. Then after I'm done hammering, it'll bring it back in close to where I started. So just a few of the modifications we used on the SX10, 10 millimeter new care cart unclipped shoes.